Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we are going to turn toilet paper into super material. And you have seen how hard this can get just from crushing. But we are again here at Avans University of Applied Science and in their Amnext laboratory. And we have this profit press, 100 tons, but it has the heated plates. So we can also add heating to the equation. What's the heating is going to do for the toilet paper? I have no idea. But the laboratory crew here is able to return all kinds of waste products into useful materials with this press, some additives and molds. And today we are going to try out is the toilet paper the holy grail of materials. <laughs> and we are going to do two rolls. One, just pressure and heat. And second one, we are going to add some clear epoxy to make it last forever. So here we go. Yeah, I have been asked for the epoxy with toilet paper for a long time. So nice to get this done. And the heater press is great because it makes the epoxy dry out very fast. So we don't have to wait like many hours. And we are going to use the same crush for epoxy one and then the regular one. And we are crushing with 100 tons and this is about 200 degrees Celsius. So it's going to be 50 tons per roll. So not super much. A couple videos ago we found out that the sweet spot is around 150 tons. 300 tons is too much. It made it like brittle. But it doesn't explode, which is really rare for a paper product. Not to explode when crushed with that amount of pressure. And there is a link in description to second video with the same press. We did a bit more scientific video with that, that try. But this was really interesting to see because I got the, my concrete bunker idea from this press room. I realized that holy shit, I could fit room just like this on my place and it would be super safe to crush. Okay, this is not concrete. They are not doing so stupid things that uh, we are doing. But the idea for the bunker is from this room. So this was really, really good trip here. We got two interesting videos. And more importantly, the idea to build the, build the bunker. And after like 10 minutes of cooking there, the rolls were ready. And we had some paper to catch the excess epoxy that tends to like flow everywhere when you crush the epoxy things. Okay, let's let them cool down for a... Oh, yeah. it's cracked there. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It's a little burnt, uh, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's the wait for them to cool uh, down. I, the temperature is still super high. Can you talk? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it was super hot. But I'm, I, I, think, I think we made something truly, truly great here. Yeah, this, this, yeah we, we, we have to do some tests to this because I know my toilet paper material and we have to figure out is this better. I think it is, the sound is really hard. Okay, here is the true test. If you just crush toilet paper and try to mash in it, the structure just breaks down. But how about with the heating? Can we make clean cut? I have to say that this is much better. Okay, it slightly tries to strip steel, but it's definitely harder. Definitely harder here. Yeah, I have to say that the heating definitely works. And let's see the... This feels like steel. I cannot, I cannot break it. <laughs> <laughs> I put it here. Mm. Let's drill also this. Okay, we are going to, we are going to do like strength test for it. Oh. 
I would say that this, it's, it's weaker than carbon fiber. I think I couldn't like break carbon fiber like that with the hammer. It would be too, too bouncy. But for a like first try, I think this like quite good composite. Yeah, I, I, I think my work he, here is done. We can now leave and return after half a year. And they have made new building next to this out of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, but I think that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.